Hi, Lou Rosenfeld from Lou Skiing Performance Center in Calgary, here to talk about boot fitting. Um, most people buy boots, of course, that are comfortable in the store and end up being agony on the hill. And, and the reason is that we approach buying a boot as a way to try on a lot of boots until they're comfortable in the store. Um, it means that unless the boot is shaped exactly like our foot is, in order to get the boot comfortable in the store, we have to buy a boot that's too big. And then once we're on the hill using that too big boot that left the store being very comfortable, on the hill we buckle it very tightly and end up in a lot of pain and still having a loose foot. So the typical problems in boots are that our ankles hit the side of the shell or bunions hit the boot. For a lot of people, there's too much pressure on the top of the foot. And, and the reason we keep trying on different boots is because most people in most shops aren't familiar with how much boots can actually be modified. So instead, I would recommend an approach of find a boot that's close, fits our foot really solidly, and then modify the boot to make it comfortable. And here's an example of that exact situation. So typically a person with a large bunion, and this boot has a very large bunion punch, typically someone with a large bunion would buy a very wide boot. And, and the idea being there would be no pressure on the bunion and it would feel comfortable in the store. When in fact, there's no pressure anywhere on their foot because the boot's so big. So once they're out skiing, their foot's actually loose in the boot and the only thing that hits the side of the boot is their bunion. Instead, if we get them in a narrower boot and then do a nice punch for the bunion, we're in a situation where the boot holds their foot in place so it can't move sideways at all and their bunion is nicely nestled in this little home and their bunion never hits the boot. Now, the same kind of work applies to room for ankles, room for the instep, room for bunionettes. I mean, anywhere we need to make room in a boot, it's possible to stretch the shell. This is why we don't use liners to fix problems. We modify shells to fix problems because it's the shell, it's the shell that's hard and hurts not the liner. So the solution is almost always to modify the shell. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.